from Hesper. I hope you can hear us. Got my little helper here. Um, well, to go with the theme of Breezy's mask here, life isn't all unicorns and rainbows right now, but we wanted to stop and say a special thank you to uh, DHS for helping us out with the monthly stipends and keeping us going with some supplies that we've had a hard time getting. We've been open the whole time. We're still going strong and we hope to keep the kids in school and kids healthy. And again, big thank you. Hi, it's Deb and Barb from Youngins and Priests School in South Care Center in Dubuque, Iowa. Uh, we just want to give a big shout out and thank you for everything that the Department of Human Services has done for us over the last eight, nine months um, from masks and hand sanitizer and thermometers, touchless thermometers to the stipends and the extra payments there and um, the support that we've gotten from Heidi when we don't know what the right thing is to do and she's given us some great guidance. So we appreciate that and we thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rachel Barish and I'm the head of school at the Northeast Iowa Montessori School in Decorah. I want to take this opportunity to thank DHS and the collaborative partners for the funding of monthly stipends, the rejuvenation grants, the child care assistant payments and supplies. It has been a lifesaver for us here at our school. Um, these funds are extremely important and directly impact the important work that we need to do with, with our children. And we are so, so very grateful. I express gratitude and a deep, deep thanks from Northeast Iowa Montessori School, our board of directors, and myself, Rachel Burrish. Thank you. Hi, my name is Joanne O'Connell. I'm the Early Childhood Coordinator for Holy Family Catholic Schools in Dubuque, Iowa. I would like to extend a special thank you to anyone who has had a hand in the monthly stipend that all the early childhood centers have been receiving throughout the pandemic. Um, I can tell you that we have used our money towards staff um, for doing health assessments in the morning and just taking children um, to and from their rooms as parents drop off and pick up each day. That has been an added expense that we did not foresee when we did our budget last fall for this year. Also, we've been using it for our PPE, extra disinfectants that we've been buying, extra gloves that we've been buying. We, Our staff um, sometimes forget their masks, so we make sure that we have plenty of masks here on hand. Also for the children, if they forget theirs or um, they need an extra one throughout the day. We can't say thank you enough. Also, um, one of the other things that you've done for us is to waive that fingerprinting expense, and I can't say thank you enough for that. That is a big expense to our program, and we appreciate that greatly. Thank you for everything you're doing um, for us in the early childhood business. Um, we have been here for our families for, since the beginning. We have not shut down at any time. We will continue to be here. So thank you um, for supporting us. Hello, my name is Gracie Platt and I am the director of Kinderhouse Preschool in Decorah, Iowa. Uh, we are an outdoor preschool of about 15 children and on behalf of the Kinderhouse community, I wanted to say thank you for providing funding for us and allowing our children to come together and continue to learn and grow throughout this difficult time. Uh, we were not able to have our spring or summer fundraisers this year due to COVID um, and we do heavily rely on that those funds for supplies and providing snack and paying our teachers, um, some of which you've been here for 10 years and other day-to-day -day expenses. And without that help, I don't know if we would have been able to make it through this year. So thank you. Um, our children are having so much fun playing outside together this year. And they are so grateful that they can come together and play. And just thank you for helping all the kids across the state allowed, um, allowing them to come together and play because it is so important. So thank you. Hi, I'm Chris and Bray Barnett. I run an in-home daycare here in Charles City. I want to say thank you to DHS and CC 
R and R for all the help that they've been doing for us and standing behind us and making sure we get all the information. They've also made sure that we could get supplies when they were low so that we could keep our homes clean and safe for all the children that we take care of. Also, the monthly step-in checks have been very helpful um, for me maintaining my income with some of my parents that have lost their jobs or laid off or cut hours. Um, I had to recently just close, so I'm hoping I can get a grant that will help me because one of my families had COVID and I was exposed. My tests came back negative. Um, so I'm really hoping um, that after I'm done with this quarantine that um, the grant will come and I can get help with that to help pay my rent and stuff. I do appreciate everything you've done. Thank you. Hi, I'm the director at Holy Ghost Early Childhood in Dubuque, and I just wanted to show my gratitude towards the Dep Department of Human Services for our the monthly stipend checks and the changes they made to the child care assistant program um, billing system. It has made a huge difference in our center in order to stay open for our families that are essential workers. We, could, we um, want to show our gratitude for the continued support for our programs for early childhood. Thank you. On behalf of Very Tender Child Care and Strawberry Point, I want to send a huge thank you to DHS for the monthly stipends and essential employee add-ons that were provided to us that kept our business afloat in the time of despair. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Child Care, checking in to say a heartfelt thank you to DHS all the support they've given us during this pandemic. The monthly stipend has allowed us to purchase the supplies we need to keep our daycare up and running. They aren't always readily available and cost more these days, so we are really grateful for this resource to help us out. We're also thankful that DHS is helping families with the family copay and allowing us to mark children absent who are out due to sickness and still receive the payment for them. With children being out such extended periods due to possible exposure and quarantine, it would really put a hardship on us if we didn't have this option. We couldn't do this without you, DHS, and we consider ourselves truly blessed to have you standing strong with us. Thank you. Hoyer. I'm from Allison. I live in Butler County. I would like to take this time to thank DHS for keeping all the kids safe and healthy through this pandemic. I'd also like to thank them for the stipends, the $500 stipends that they've been giving to the registered home providers. Um, I had recently purchased the home next to me and opened a day, moved my daycare over there. And when the pandemic started, four of my families left for a while. They've all since returned, but the $500 has really helped me with paying the mortgage on my daycare. And I didn't know if I could keep it open without that. So thanks a lot, DHS, for all your help and support during this pandemic. Thanks again. Nancy Ryan's from Clarksville Child Development. I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done during this COVID outbreak. Everything from the supplies to the monthly stipends to the rejuvenation grant. It has helped our center immensely and we wouldn't even be able to do it. Hi, this is Kendra from Newman Child Care and Preschool in Mason City, Iowa. And I would like to say thank you so much for all of your help and your guidance and support during all this time with COVID. Um, the monthly stipends, the rejuvenation grant helped us. We were able to get plexiglass, so we had dividers for all of our preschool and pre-K classrooms and cleaning supplies for all the rooms. So thank you so much for all your support and continued guidance through this crazy time. And God bless you and thank you again. Hello everyone, my name is Kathy, I'm from Waterloo, Iowa. I run child care program from my home. DHS, I am grateful and appreciative to you all for the monthly stipend of rejuvenation and supplies. You have made it possible for me, being a new provider, to supply all the needs essential for child care the children, for the children in my home. From masks, hand sanitizers, the mom's tissue, so disinfectant to keep all the toys tables clean at all times free of germs. To be able to build a good team, I am able to show recognition to the children for their hard work by giving them gifts. I will also be able to supply reading, reading materials, coloring books, crayons, and educational programs like Coco Mello, which is their favorite. Um, toys, they like to sing along with the internet being on constantly. We don't never have to skip a beat. 
I am now helping with virtual learning, which is so awesome. With the payments being changed, it has made it easier for myself to be able to give discounts to families because of the monthly stipend they can afford reasonable child care during these hard times. I feel amazingly blessed to be able to help others because of you guys. I give tribute to DHS for all your help and support. Bye. Good morning. I would just like to say thank you to DHS um, for the many things that they have done to help us during this time of COVID-19. Um, the supplies have been phenomenal. Um, we were unable to find some items um, and then with the help of DHS we were able to get a thermometer, some bleach, and gloves and other things that we were having a hard time finding. Um, we have also seen that the unlimited absences for our children has been invaluable to us. Um, as people have been staying home more and being more cautious with health policies and such, that has been a tremendous help to our center. Um, and also just the, the stipends have helped us. We've been able to pass along the discount to our essential workers families. And um, we have also used the um, rejuvenation grant as we did have to close um, for two weeks at two different times. And I guess I would just like to say once again, thank you for all your assistance and help. It has just been tremendous. Um, and I wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank you.